Dr. Philip Mann is the founder and president of California University Silicon Valley. He received his Doctor of Oriental Medicine degree and California Acupuncture License since 2003. He has been a keen educator and a professional practitioner who embraces the Eastern and Western medicine. He has developed his unique treatment methods and achieved successful results. His reputation proceeds from among his patients. California University, Silicon Valley, otherwise known as CUVSV, is a traditional Chinese medicine graduate school whose predecessor is Nine Star University of Health and Sciences since 2007. Please join me in welcoming Dr. Yu. Sitting positions, 
is that makes the disc protrude to one side. This is called the bulging disc. And uh, the bulging disc will come with the disc protrude outside. That causes a lot of pain. And uh, if you pinch the nerve, you can barely walk. Um, so this is the, uh, one of the most severe lower back problems. But mostly you don't have this problem because this problem will make you can, uh, cannot work, cannot do any daily activities. And um, then alongside of the vertebrae and discs, that would be muscles and ligaments. So that's the basic structure of the lower back. Let's go to the next page. Then we see uh, these are the vertebrae. See, um, uh, see there, uh, this is L4 and the 5. Then the lower one, next to it is the S, S1, 2, 3, 4, 5. S, which is called the sacrum, this part. Sacrum is a one piece. Initially, it's a five. Then for uh, growing ups, uh, they uh, stick together, become one piece. But still, they separate sometimes. Like when we do certain positions, like you sit like this. Then you get, you get used to it. When you sit down, <laughs> sit like this. Yeah. So anytime you sit down, always oh, left on top or right on top, because you get used to it. Then what will be the consequences? That make it still make the uh, sacrum tilt to one side. That causes a lot of problems that you don't know the problem originated from here. What kind of problem that we lead to? But this is not our uh, major topic today, uh, but it's really related. Um, many people suffer from, do you know plantar fasciitis? How many of you know this yes. symptom? Yes. Um, let's get a non-professional terminology. Heel pain. Heel pain. Or foot pain. Only one foot pain. Or both feet pain. Like in the morning, when you get up, oh, cannot walk, cannot walk. Hold about 15 minutes, or can walk a little bit, and then I can walk, take about 20 minutes to walk. Many people suffer from this. Not anyone, one of you. <laughs> <laughs> you do? <laughs> okay. Then, how we treat it? Usually, in the very beginning, I, I treat this plant of this for one, a uh, friend, she had white heel pain. I said, okay, I put a needle. You know, they usually buy Wesley medicine, the, the inflammation in the um, ligaments. So I just put a needle in the bottom of the uh, heel. It's a very painful. But I said, that works. Just a one time, one needle, I cured that patient. Then she told everyone, anyone who has the heel pain, just go to Dr. Young. You just use one needle. Cure your problem. I'm sorry, in the following patients with the same problem, I used one needle, didn't cure it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, then I said, don't, don't say I can cure it with one needle. I cannot claim that anymore. <laughs> then I didn't know what's the problem. Five years later, I figured out the problems from here. Now I have a technique, even this little stuff, even one pen. If you said, okay, I will let the heel pain, I won't touch your heel anymore. You just sit here, tap, 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 tap the back, get up and go and walk, then you are fine. The pain is free. Yeah. Tap with your hand, just with your hand. Either this way, I can pick up anything, even use your telephone to tap it, but it won't damage your phone. <laughs> uh, sometimes, when I go somewhere else, and someone says, I have the pain. Okay, pick up a rock from the low side, then hit, 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 then you are fine. Yeah. You why is that? Because the misalignment of the sacrum pinch the nerve, pinch the nerve, similar like the sciatica. Sacrum corresponding to the heel. L3, see L3 corresponding to the knee. So when someone suffers from the knee pain, I will double check, I'll just make sure. And sometimes you do have the knee problem. 
um, then I will check, do some tests, and find out, oh, the knee problem is originated from L3. When L3 curved to the right, you have the right knee pain, the reverse is the same. So I, I sometimes tell the patient that one, one friend's mother, she came here for, to me to do some uh, treatment for something else. Then her mom said, can you give me a, a diagnosis? I said, sure. I give her a diagnosis. Uh, she was um, 68 or something at that time. Then I said, mm, oh, you have the, um, uh, do you feel pain in the left knee? She said, no. I said, if you don't feel the pain in the left knee, in the future, pretty soon, maybe a few weeks or a few months, you'll feel the pain on the knee. If you feel the pain on the knee, it must be left. If I don't do any treatment for you, she said, okay, that's fine, I'm fine today. <laughs> Six months later, she came here. She said, hey, Dr. Young, I do come here for the knee pain. I am not sure you do, you remember or not. You told me I have the knee pain and the left knee. She said, exactly, my left, left knee starting to have the pain. And the pain sometimes, uh, before was uh, sometimes on and off, but sometimes I almost kneel down when I walk. I said, okay, I feel the back. I said, okay, that's easy to cure. Give one needle here and do the movements, correct the spine, and the knee pain is gone. I don't need to do anything for the knee. Is it painful though? <laughs> no. Uh, you just feel something, the pain at the most is, uh, as uh, strong as an uh, antibiotic. Oh, we can, we can take that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, a lot of times, uh, do I have something inside? Yeah, the needle is inside already. <laughs> okay, so uh, then we know how important the spine is. So uh, the spine reaching with the nerves. So, so now we know the bone, the spine, the muscles, the, all the muscles, the most related muscles, the uh, latissimus dorsi on the side. A lot of people suffer from the muscle pain. Today, actually just now, before I came here, one of the patients, she, had, she came from Berkeley. She said, usually when I come here, just one time you treat my lower back. How come last time, it doesn't in May, you treat it, but the pain still not going away. Mm, I said, let me check. I check, I said, your spine is fine. But why you have the lower back pain? I find a lot of knots on the muscles on both sides. I say, oh, that's muscle pain. The last time you came here, I took care of your spine, but I didn't take care of your muscles. So that treatment is different for your spine. I just use one needle, two needle. One needle, take care of five vertebrae. Okay, uh, then do the movements, it's gone. But for the muscle pain, that's different. Then I need a lot of knots. Maybe some of you suffer from this. Um, see, this is the spine, right? On the side, you press the muscles. Then you feel a lot of knots inside. Okay. Uh, you may have the knots, but you may not have the pain. But someday, they will let you know, hey, I'm here. <laughs> That's a lot of pain. Some have the pain on one side, some on both sides. So then I'll have to insert needles in local area, multiple needles, not just one needle, <laughs> to dissolve the knots. So I did multiple needles, almost 10 needles today, because she had knots on both sides. Then I said, get up and uh, take a walk. Oh, she can, she could do any motion. So, um, that's the muscles, and uh, that's so that's all the structure of the lower back. Let's go next page. Then, uh, what's the functions? Yeah. Everybody know the functions. We just get a little summary. Because of the uh, spine, it's so important to sustain the whole body weight and the bear all the motions. See, uh, so major, we can uh, summarize two, uh, three, three functions of the lower back. First, support the body weight. See, the body weight, body weight is supported by the lower back. 
and especially L4 and 5. Uh, second, centered body balance. Center the body balance, see, you go this way. Why you can do this motion? Because the lower back center your body. Uh, if the lower back loses the body weight to the side, you fall. Uh, so center the body weight. And, but if you have the lower back disorder, either the spine or the muscles disorder, you cannot do this motion. Cannot keep the balance. Um, same thing, front and back. Why you see someone walk this way? Why? Because the back is too weak to support the body. You never realize your body can support the body, uh, support the upper body. If the back is weak, you walk, you stand like this. You never realize how important the lower back is because you are healthy. Until you get sick, then you find, oh, so important. So think the body with balance and move your body in all directions, all directions. Um, uh, front and back, left and right, like sitting and uh, uh, doing dancing, jumping, all, all the mm, motions and activities. So that's the function. Okay, next page. Then what causes the lower back pain? Um, we just mentioned the first part. Spinal uh, disorders, including various kinds of disorders. First, like uh, osteoarthritis. What is osteoarthritis? Osteo means the bone. Arthritis means bone in the joints. Um, if the arthritis happens, in between um, the vertebrae, then you have a lot of pain, which is unbearable, untouchable, and not functional. And this happens to the people usually older than 55 or uh, older than 55. But uh, someone maybe earlier is living in your energy condition. And the second is the body in this or rupture disc. Uh, that means, uh, we just um, talked about it, the bulging disc means the disc slides to one side, to one side, because of the vertebrae is misaligned. And uh, some ones are caused by the accident, like a fall, like someone in ski, fall down. Then with a slip disc, it just cannot move at all. Uh, rupture disc. Um, the, the another is the muscles strain or sprain. Uh, it is said here, it could be here. But if any part of the lower back. Um, then, uh, tinctured nerve, sciatica. Sciatica is a one of them. This is a very, very tricky, as we just mentioned. Sacrum corresponding to the uh, lower leg to heel or the whole foot, or the ankle. Uh, like, um, uh, this may be help you, like, uh, uh, this is very, very common. Like some kids, when they are uh, in, the, in the sports, they fall down, you know, it's okay. And then they, um, they can do anything. They say, there's no pain, all the pain is healed, but that becomes the weakness. Let's say the ankles get sprained. Then that may, when that spring motion may make the disc misaligned, either lumbar or the sacral, mostly the lumbar. Then if you slide to the right, either nerve pinching to, not, not completely pinching, maybe, maybe just touch it. Then that makes the left ankle become weaker. Then when you do the intensive movements, let's like say football or soccer or running, jogging, then something like, oh, would you fall down? Hey, fall down again, injure the same ankle. Then uh, after some time you get healed. Then in another moment, oh, heal again. Multiple heal, multiple sprain in the same area. Why that happens? Yeah, you never realize it's from here. So 
uh, after many years of clinical practice, I won't be cheated by the patients. They say, hey, I have the pain, and uh, I get a inj small injury in my left ankle. So I won't just focus on your left ankle. I will focus on, uh, I will check the back as well. Uh, make sure the root cause and the symptoms all get cured, and uh, um, the muscle, the ligaments get strengthened, then you become normal. And uh, you won't, you get permanent cured, you won't get injured again. Okay. Um, another stress fracture, uh, fracture. So when we stress the fracture, that's based on the aging, the weakness of the spine. Um, especially when someone's very, very weak. Uh, like for female, after 45, 50, when you after the menopause, the kidneys get weaker and the bone quality get weaker. Easy to have this problem. We said the lower back bear the body weight, but it's too weak to bear the body weight. So they get a stress fracture, like if you uh, lift things too much, stand too long, so that can cause natural fracture. Oh, I don't get it. Did I get injured? I didn't fall. How come I get a fracture? It's called a stretch fracture. That because the quality of the bone is not strong enough, so they get a stretch fracture. So in this case, uh, if it's um, really affecting your uh, your daily activity, then maybe you have to get a surgery, get an artificial replacement. Otherwise, you just cannot do the daily work. Then what we do, if it's not very bad, we can correct the position and uh, to re-neutralize the bone. How to neutralize, we'll talk about it later. Re-neutralize the bone, strengthen the lower back, then you get it fixed in a natural way without any risk. Okay, let's go to the next page. Uh, then what's the nutrition? How to neutralize the bone? Uh, not only the bones, but also we mentioned we have muscle, we have ligaments, we have bones. Let's talk about the muscles first. What provide the nutrition to the muscles? Uh, in, we know the chemical process. The chemical process in the matter is the calcium, uh, all the uh, phosphorates, or whatever the, um, the chemical process. Generally, we make it very, very simple one organ directly su uh, supply the nutrients to the muscles. This is the Chinese medicine philosophy. Uh, then I, I know many people uh, say that oh, Chinese medicine is not scientific, it's a non evidence medicine. Yeah, we talk about it many, many times. Uh, actually, these years, many, many scientists will get the Nobel Prize uh, based on the concept of Chinese medicine. Then they use the scientific way to get the evidence. Then they get the Nobel Prize. So we get the philosophy, but we don't don't have the scientific way. So I cannot get the Nobel Prize. <laughs> but that's true. Sooner or later, science will approve this too because we use it all the time. It's really true. Uh, how the muscle, uh, how the spleen neutralizes the muscle? How many of you? Uh, know where your spleen is. How many of you know where your spleen is in your body? Nobody. <laughs> Nobody. She knows. Okay, where? In your abdomen. Uh, which side? Left or right? Uh, I think on the left side. Yes. <laughs> oh, good. At least some of you know it. <laughs> okay. Uh, this is the rib cage. Uh, Parallel with the ribcage, in the same level of the ribcage, go inside, you cannot feel. Inside the ribcage, uh, the bottom of the spleen, spleen is exactly at the bottom of the ribcage, the 11th ribcage, uh, the rib, 11th rib. Uh, this is the, uh, where the spleen is. Spleen is very small. It works together with the stomach, uh, uh, which is in charge of them. Uh, absorption after uh, digestion. You know, when our stomach take the uh, food and digest, 
Then spleen absorb the nutrients, uh, including water, and then supply to the body. Like the water supply to the lungs, lungs spread to the muscles and all the other organs. Um, so spleen is in charge of the absorption of the nutrients and the water, uh, just like a pump. Then how about your spleen get weak? When your spleen get weaker after a long time, um, the muscles get weaker. So you feel oh, the whole body is sore, or someone feel whole body is very, very heavy. It's so heavy. How come the hands and the feet feel so heavy? Heaviness means the pumping function of the water, of the fluid, of the spleen is defective. It's weaker. Then which can lead to this? If you drink, let me see how many of you drink that icy water and uh, ice cream. Okay, I know in summer, many people take the ice water, uh, anything cold. Without cold, don't take it. So like my kids, those things, everything's so icy. I said, you cannot take that. Why oh, it's so hot? <laughs> I do sports. Of course, take ice. So um, after some time, then your spleen get damaged, them, get weaker from the ice. Um, it's not just one time, two times, one year, two years. After, after some time, your spleen get weaker. What's the signs of the weak spleen? Loose stool, diarrhea. You eat anything, easy to get diarrhea. That means the spleen is weaker. Um, I, uh, I practice Qigong. Uh, after 20 years, skipping breakfast, take ice water or anything. I, I, didn't, I didn't care. Even I learned Chinese medicine, but I didn't care that. Until about five years ago, then I have a good store. And sometimes a diarrhea and multiple bowel movements per day. Oh, then that's a weak sleep. Then I tried. I used the energy, universal energy. Inhale to here, exhale supply to the spleen. Just um, no more than 10 times. Then the next day, the stroke is formed. It's normal, no more diarrhea. So that means it's a really true. Then when your spleen get fixed, your muscle strength get back. So if you if some of you get a chronic fatigue syndrome, just a, just a weak muscle, that reluctant to do anything, that means the weak muscles strengthen the spleen. And uh, spleen, what's the food to neutralize the spleen? Yellow color of the food, anything yellow, yellow squash, millets, and uh, anything you can find, yellow pepper, anything, but oh, that, uh, that also. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, uh, that, uh, that's good for the spleen. And uh, warm food, anything warm, or at least room temperature, that's good for the spleen. At least warm hurt your spleen, then keep the muscles. Okay, ligaments. Ligaments corresponding to liver. The liver supplies the uh, nutrients to the ligaments. We have a lot of ligaments, any motion, any strength that we do the gym, we do this, the, the exercise of the chain, the, the strength of the muscles and ligaments. So uh, which food neutralizes the uh, liver? Green. green. Anything green. Green. I, I believe uh, uh, most of you wow. like greens. So uh, I've been formed that uh, habit. If I, whatever I eat, uh, bread or whatever, I have to get some greens. Without greens, I didn't eat anything. So green is very important. That um, uh, not only bring the fiber and the vitamins and minerals, but also balance the energy and detox. We know liver is the, uh, is the organ that is the chemical factory in our body. That's a detoxification. So if you eat anything which is not very, very clean, liver take care of it. But when the liver is weaker, that toxin is yours. And then you feel the pain, feel the sore, the diarrhea, whatever it is. So liver. 
So each meal take greens and um, bones, which which um, um, uh, the kidneys supply energy to the bones, nutrient to the bones. Uh, we just mentioned after menopause, the bones get weaker. So they easy to get osteoarthritis, uh, uh, like knees pain, lower back pain. Uh, all the joints may have the pain. They get the deformation of the finger joints that are all called osteoarthritis. That because, I'm sorry, I, I hate to say that related with aging, but that's true. Uh, then before that happens, we can do something to avoid that happening. Uh, that's going to the kidneys. Then there are many, many things to neutralize the kidneys. Um, anything black, anything dark, Okay, any any food you can imagine to dark. Black beans. Black beans, very good. Black chicken. Chocolates. <laughs> Dark chocolates. <laughs> yeah. Plums, cherries. Uh, yeah, plums, cherries, blueberries, and uh, black sesame, black mushroom, seaweed. All these are good for the kidneys. And then another category, all the seeds good for the kidneys. Why seeds for the good for the kidneys? We know seeds generate the next future life, uh, the future life, right? You plant the seed, you, you get the plants. Same thing. Kidneys uh, generate the hormones uh, that for eggs, testosterone, for male and female, then that form the, the new life. So, um, when we eat the seeds that get more hormones, uh, then you get a stronger in hormones uh, then that neutralize the bones. Uh, later, because it's so common, later I will provide a um, chart. I call it uh, kidney food. So you can take a picture. You can take the reference, uh, eat it every day. For sure, it's good for everybody. Everyone needs it. Uh, let's go to the next page. Um, uh, degenerative change, uh, talk a little bit more. So age, greater with the kidneys, so why? Um, from female, seven by seven. Seven years is one cycle. So first seven, grow teeth. Second seven, to uh, puberty. Uh, then seven by seven, end of the hormone, the female hormones. Then and menopause syndrome. No more new hormones generated by the body. So that's um, all the siblings, the bank is you don't. In order to make it strong, you need to make more money, put in the bank. Deposit. What's a deposit? Kidneys, uh, kidney food, and uh, more exercises. Uh, for, oh, sorry. Uh, how come this thing? For bill. This is not right for male, so eight by eight. <laughs> You're not changing. Yeah, that's 64. Uh, so male, uh, that means generally male grow, uh, the, like boys develop slower than girls. So uh, also aging is also later. So boys, age is one cycle. Okay. Uh, so that means that after uh, 64, no more uh, testosterone to generate, then that's called eight, eight by eight, okay, eight by eight. Um, this is just a reference, uh, just the average, not exactly, because someone, um, even female, uh, they saw the menopause in the over 55. Um, I, I know someone 58 already, but she still have the minimum, uh, they still have the um, period. That's a good sign. Uh, and uh, some of the patients, they have been like a 50, 55 or something. Oh, the menopause and, uh, started. Then they say, oh, finally I finished the period. Then I do the moxa. Sometimes, maybe the coincidence, just one time, moxa acupuncture, then the period will come again. 
say, hey, is this bleeding or this is a period? <laughs> I said, period, congratulations. You are younger. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it happens many times, not just one time. <laughs> okay. Uh, then another uh, is uh, except the unit, spleen, liver, uh, that's related to with them. Like uh, you lift a lot of things and, and uh, do excessive exercise too much. Then that weaken the spleen and liver, that means we can weaken your muscles then and the ligaments. So do any of the exercise should be proper. And uh, lack of exercise is not right either. <laughs> no, doctor said, I cannot do excessive exercises, so just don't do anything. I <laughs> <laughs> just did. Then that damage your spleen and liver also, maybe even worse. <laughs> okay, injuries, uh, injury could be any injuries, emotional injuries, uh, mental injuries, or uh, physical injuries could damage the liver and the kidney, that means the muscles, the ligaments, and bones. Diet, diet. Actually, only liver is not right. Diet, improper diet could damage the spleen, could damage your uh, liver, could damage the, um, the bones. Uh, there, it's a very complicated topic. Okay, next page. Uh, okay, uh, as I mentioned in the very beginning, the spine, the bones are just like a structure of our house. And then, okay, one thick is not important. How about you cut one side? Then the house will tilt, collapse. Uh, same as our body. You said, um, any of the bones is not important? No, they are all important. Even one small rib is very important. So, uh, skeleton system inside the body is very important. That's why to neutralize the skeleton is the first important thing. Talking about the lower back, that's how to neutralize the bones. Okay, go next page. Uh, seems like one page is short. The kidney, kidney food. Do you have it? Kidney food. No. Oh, no. 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 Okay. If no, for sure I'll make up. I'll email to Cindy <laughs> and send the email to everyone because that's I, I summarized everything, collected all the information, sent to all my patients, whoever needed. Actually, everyone needed it. Um, and uh, that's, that would be really, really helpful to your kidneys, to the lower back. Okay. And uh, then solutions. Um, how to solve the problem, how to strengthen our lower back. Uh, that's a, a very, very general uh, spin. I think most of you know it. Strengthen your core muscles. Uh, you could do many things. Later, we have some exercises too demonstrate to everyone. You can do push-ups, uh, pull-ups, anything you like. And uh, strengthen the, the uh, stretch the knee, stretch to keep the flexibility of the back. I also, the um, exercise will cover the stretching. Avoid sitting with the poor postures, as I mentioned, including this way, cross your legs, or sitting this way. Oh, we know many kids do this, right? Uh, they are, the parents always say, hey, sit out, straight, be careful with the posture. Okay, then a few minutes later. <laughs> then my son, another creative posture, the looking at the um, computer. <laughs> uh, I reminded him several times, now, uh, in the beginning, he didn't realize, then later, uh, oh, here's the curbing, see? The curb to the left affects the stomach, causes the stomach pain. Uh, then he said, oh, this because of the wrong posture. Now he is more careful with his postures. And uh, more postures that may happen to many people. Yeah. Well, waiting in line this way, this way. Hi. 
or bend down your head, then that will cause the neck problem and the shoulder problem. You said this is life, this isn't a habit. I'm sorry, the wrong habit. <laughs> okay, alters. And uh, take walks, don't sit there, don't move. Lift correctly. What's lift correctly? I believe, I believe some of you be, uh, remember I taught one of the lifting postures, uh, how to lift correctly. How many of you remember that? Okay. Can you demo? I remember your, your legs. Yes. Your lift, like this. Don't only bend your back, like lift like this. Give her a clap. <laughs> Yeah, thank you. Um, when you leave things, you know, you know, many people say, oh, I went to the grocery store to pick up something, then I hurt my back, then I came to my clinic. Why is that? See, your body is, your back is not flexible enough, not strong enough to do that motion. But if you are flexible or strong enough, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. So in order to avoid injury, and especially you have the weak back, but you didn't aware of it. So when you lift things, especially the heavy things, try to do this way, stand this way, and uh, keep the back straight, but bend down the knees, then lift up, even if it's the heavy things. I was very, very heavy, I have to bend down my back, that's fine. Still, get this ready, then lift it up. So still fine. So this way, this way is wrong. Okay, um, reduce pressure on your back uh, when you sleep. Oh, hello. Hello. Yeah, hello under the feet, right? And uh, uh, in between the legs. What's the best sleeping posture on the back? You're right. On the back is the best sleeping posture. And with the low pillow, flat pillow. Not high pillow. High pillow. See the head will bend. There is a I, how about the without pillow? Without pillow, someone maybe like this still tense. Then how about on the side? On the side, that's fine. But your pillow have to be correct. What's the right pillow? This depends on the height. If your pillow, the pillow height should be shoulder wide. How wide your shoulder is should be how high the pillow is. So, so that when you sleep, keep your body straight. The head and the spine keep in, in line, in straight line. Um, so if the pillow is too low, that's like this. If the pillow is too high, that's like this. Not good for the neck and not good for this spine uh, as well. So uh, when you always sleep on the left, there, there is a possibility to call digestive issue, uh, sciatica, shoulder and arm pain or numbness or tingling, or headache or neck pain. How about sleeping on the right? Um, with a wrong height of pillow, that are easy to cause high sugar level, um, or oh, either side may cause you know, high blood pressure and uh, tingling and numbness of the hands and feet. And uh, also, oh, to the left also affect the heart. To the right may help affect the lungs. <laughs> but with a proper pillow, it's okay. Uh, but I know many people say, like, oh, if I don't sleep on my right, I cannot fall into sleep. Yeah, that's true. Uh, but it's better keep the balance, sometimes on the right, sometimes on the left. And uh, try to train yourself on the back. Then someone say, oh, there's another problem. If I sleep on back, I snore. <laughs> yes, that's because the cervical vertebrae is the true in life because snoring. Uh, we can treat that, uh, but um, take some time to treat it completely. How about all the bad the face down and the side? Uh, facing down, right? Uh, that's not good either because you have to either tilt this way or this way. Yeah, then switch back and forth. Uh, so if, if you have the balance, that is fine. <laughs> the problem is deep, I know. Right. In the beginning of the sleeping, the first half of the time, you're very, very sleepy. Then 
You see this side longer than the normal side. Set up the alarm. Oh, then you said, Oh, I hate the alarm. Did you make it up? <laughs> okay. And uh, watch your weight. Oh, to someone. <laughs> and uh, quick smoking. Yes. Okay, next one. I make it very, very simple. You see, so much. Make it simple. See? Eat right, then correctly do stretchings every day. Uh, so if you keep the three things that can mostly keep your lower back strong and flexible, which is a uh, simplified E S S. Okay, eat well. What means eat well? Don't eat what kind of food too much. <laughs> oh, okay. Um, yeah, so called junk food, including chips, <laughs> including very, very, very spicy food. Uh, but if you really like that, and so I like the hot, 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 uh, spicy, hot, so tasty. That's fine. You can enjoy it like a once a month or something. Uh, then after that, Take a lot of um, vegetables, or fruits, and water. Water that can detoxify and purify it. Uh, that's no problem. But if you take it all the time, sorry, problems will be with you. And uh, and also, don't eat too much icing. Ice. Icing. Ice. Ice food. And sugar. Yeah, uh, oh, of course, you said, oh, this is fun coming Sunday. I'm going to have a... Um, Parade to the tender parade, right? It's a very, very hot, maybe over 100 degrees. I have to eat something cool down. Yeah, occasionally that's fine, but eat slowly. Um, like we have an event that uh, uh for cancer association really for life over 100 degrees in Union City. One boy, we have this freezing watermelon, he took a lot, a lot, and then he had a stomach pain, acute cramping stomach pain. Then I use needles to help him to release that. So nobody wants to suffer from that pain and diarrhea. And plus, that damage the spleen and the muscles. Okay. And, uh, and uh, eat correctly, eat well. Kidney food, strengthen the spoon, uh, the kidneys, and uh, uh, greens strengthen your liver and uh, strengthen your uh, ligaments. Okay, stand properly, stand right, and um, uh, and I do the stretching that ready. Then we'll tell everyone what's the stretching. Okay, next. Uh, summary is E S S. That's it. Uh, uh, then we'll give um, about a few minutes to have Q and A. Uh, uh, now, after Q&A, we'll do the demo. Questions? Huh? Questions? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Questions? Yeah. 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 I have one. Oh, yeah, sure. How expensive are you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if you have something you need to fix, come to me. <laughs> sure. Send a bill. Send a bill. It's just a, so it's a student to be in the bank. Okay. Oh, okay. Stomach and the spleen as the same system. Same system. Uh, but mostly there's a uh, there's a problem. Uh, stomach pain, stomach protein, acid reflux. How many of you have with this stomach pain, acid reflux, stomach protein? Uh, even cramping pain. Okay. Uh, when you have this pain repeatedly, chronically, mostly here, P10 to 12, curve to the left. Must be curved to the left. Uh, almost no exceptional. So that means that if, you're, if I fix your problem, I just fix your spine, then your problem is gone. If you take, like, you can go Costco by the uh, probiotic and uh, acid, anti-acid um, OTC, 
um, the um, uh, nutrient nutrition, the tablet that helps, but you can never cure it until you fix the spine. Yeah. In my case, I have a hiatal hernia uh -huh. that causes this. De depends on which part. Some. Uh, some. Okay. Uh, yeah. Then maybe, maybe. Uh, maybe so this is the cure. So what's the fix for me? This? Okay. Uh, make a hand uh, slides, then do the motions, then fix that. Really? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Can I turn the attic with the lower back? Yes. Yes. Without surgery? Without surgery. Wow. Well, yeah, everything we do is without surgery. Yeah. For well, the treatment for that part, for that uh, disease? Uh, there's a needles. If I, if I find it, you know, I, I don't think it's so painful. It's a really painful. You cannot move. I'll help you to correct the position first oh. and strengthen them. How long before we can make an appointment? One week. A week. Yeah. Only, yeah, from an imbalance. Yes. Yes. Um, needles, sometimes we do herbs as well to help with the you know, hormone imbalances. Yeah. And there are many types of the hormone imbalance, can all balance them. Uh, depending on the degree, I just roughly estimate for your case, won't take too long. Usually, yeah, no more than 10 visits. Yeah, she got injured, I think, three weeks ago. Oh. And yeah, it's pretty bad. Oh, one and a half months. One and a half months. One and a half months ago. Yeah. She couldn't walk sometimes. It's really oh, good. it's just a mid position. Yeah, that's easy to get, get it back. can also cause the nerve pain. Yeah, change the nerve. Yeah, that's why she, she could stand in some lines. Yeah, that's why she walks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you, you, the reason is um, uh, that's related with age, like your age to be fixed very quickly. Okay, uh, any other question? No more questions. They will, will do a demo, demonstration how to do the um, uh, the movements. Uh, we're doing the movements different from the rhythm of what you got to did just now. Just now with the jumping, jumping, there's a happy. Uh, yeah, based on the strength and flexibility of the muscles, you can do a lot of dancing. So we'll do the slow and the continuous motion. So we do have a team. Uh, welcome our team to uh, we'll do the demo here. Uh, let's see. Like we can the demo. Everyone can stand up to follow us. You may need some space. Yeah. Okay, the fundamental discipline is uh, slow and the continuous motion. Okay, uh, first, uh, make the uh, hip rotating to the left and right, to the left and right. Mm -hmm. Imagine uh, you're making circle, uh, the tummy is making circles on the ground to the maximum angle. We'll do four circles on each side. One more. Then to the right. One. Usually in your practice, you can do eight for each side. Two. 
Okay, second, big circles. Cross your fingers, pick the maximum and go to the left. One. Keep your legs straight when you're bending down. Two. Three. Four. Then to the right. One. Look at the back side of your palm from beginning to end. Two. Three. Four. Okay, this is um, for the flexibility of the muscle, the ligaments in the lower back. Number three, this is for energy work. This is Qigong. Bend down your knees. This is called a horse standing with the arms facing up, separate, separate this way. Uh, at the same time, contract the lower abdomen, lower back, contract the muscles. Combine with the breathing. Inhale through the nose, exhale through the mouth. Inhale. Hold the breath, swallow saliva. Then exhale, release. Second, hold up. Swallow saliva. Exhale, release. Inhale up. Exhale. When you exhale, you don't need to push, just naturally release. Okay, one more time. Inhale. Exhale. Okay. The next one, uh, beyond the heaven, pushing hands with the ball step. To the left, to the left, straight to the front left knee, and straight up the right knee. With the right foot, 45 degrees to the right and front. Left and foot, straight ahead. Okay. Then, uh, parallel, you know, the both arms hold the very, very hard. Put forward and come back, relax. Forward to the maximum uh, uh, distance you can reach and back. Okay, there's a correction when you put it forward. Don't lean your body, keep the body, upper body naturally straight. Naturally straight. Not lean this way. Okay. Not lean this way. The left foot forward. Then back. Then come back, come back with the breathing. Exhale. And inhale, relax. One more time. Exhale. Back. Right. Foot forward. Back. Exhale, foot forward. Inhale back. Exhale, foot forward. Inhale back. One more time. Foot forward. And back. 
Okay. When you push to the side, stretch the, uh, stretch the muscle, the ligaments, increase the flexibility and the strength. Okay, last one. Uh, we call it lightening the path, which is for the energy flow. The energy flow around the whole body. Okay, starting from the heart, going up, over your head, down, back to the heart, push to the left, same thing, power step, push it forward from the inside, then fall back from outer side. Then switch to the right, push forward, yeah. and fall back from outer side. Then back to the heart and push down again. Then back from outer side, back to the heart. I know some of you maybe have a difficulty to follow me. Uh, <clears throat> why is that? We need an imagination. What are you pushing for? Which the track? What's the tracks? Okay, we're pushing the blood. Imagine we push the blood. I see heart control the blood, right? Then imagine we push a lot of blood go along the blood vessels up to your head. Then over your head, down, back, back to the heart. Then push to the left along the inner side of the arteries, forward, then back from the veins on the side. Then same as the right side, push forward from the inner side, then come back from the outer side. So this way, see, come back from this way. Yeah. Then back to the heart. And then continuous and push downward over your toes and back. Back to the heart and then continuous and next. Push up. Back. Push to the left. Pull back. Continuous smoothly to the right. Pull back. Push downwards. Over your toes and back. Back to the heart one more time. Push up. Push to the left. Pull back. Push to the right. Pull back. Push downward. And back. Back to the heart. That's it. Thank you. Um, uh, next, we'll yeah, please sit down. Uh, if you said, oh, uh, I cannot remember all of them. You mean just five steps? How to remember? No problem. We have the video. We can see to everyone. Yeah. You can practice every day. And uh, also, next, we'll uh, introduce a doctor. Uh, he's a chiropractor, Dr. Alex Uh He will do some demos how to stretch the back and strengthen your um, muscles and ligaments. Okay. Um, uh, next, uh, introduce Dr. Bo. Okay. All right. Dr. Go is a California licensed chiropractor. Of San Diego Hospital, San Diego Highland Hospital, open. Uh, the Co Family Chiropractic Center, uh, that's in um, Santa Clara, 
Uh, he uh, is specialized in final correction um, adjustments and so on. Uh, now let's look at his demonstration video. Hi, my name is Dr. Alex. I'm a chiropractor. I'm going to show you three simple low back stretching to relieve your low back discomfort. Movement one, cat and camel. This exercise allows to reduce the friction, stress, and glueness of the spine, particularly targeting the backside of low back muscle. In movement one, cat and camel, for people who have knee pain, you need to prepare two towel as cushions so when you do this movement, you need to place the cushion underneath your knees. So in this movement, you can see this is called cat and camel. You begin placing hands and knees on the floor. Your shoulder needs to be on top of the wrist. Your hip needs to be on top of the knees. Avoid shifting backwards, avoid shifting forward. Avoid doing a push-up position. On your exhale, move your mid-back upwards. You can feel that stretching between your shoulder blades and mid-back. Hold this position for five seconds. As you're holding, exhale and inhale. On your next exhale, drop your stomach downward while keeping your shoulder and arm straight. Your neck can slightly look up a little bit. Hold this position for five seconds. Inhale and exhale. In this position, you can feel slight stretch in your low back. Let's do it one more time. Round your mid back. Hold for five seconds. Exhale and inhale. On your next exhale, drop your stomach downward, slightly arch your low back, and slightly look up with your neck. Exhale and inhale. You're going to do this eight times. Let's do it one more time. Round your mid back. Drop your stomach. Slide look up your neck. To get the best results, you need to do eight reps. Okay, let's do it one last time. So you wanna do this eight times. After eight times, you rest for a minute, and then you do another round to get the best results. Movement two, we call soul acid stretch. You reduce the stress and glueness and tightness of the front and side of your low back muscles. In the starting position, one leg forward with knees bent, making sure your knees not passing the toes. Raise your opposite arm up and push upwards. Bend to the side, sliding, and drop your shoulder back of your raised arms, and then you can feel the stretch on the left side. You can feel the stretch at the front and the side view. Hold this position for three seconds. Okay, and then you lunge forward and repeat the same process. Raise your opposite arm upward and push. And to the side and drop your raised arm back. And you can feel the stretch on the right side, particularly on the side of your waist. Hold this position for three seconds. Inhale and exhale. And launch forward. Making sure you're not losing your balance. Making sure you're not pushing your stomach forward. Keep it tight to your body. 
raise your arm upward and push. Slightly bend to the side as you bend, making sure you're not pushing your hip outward. You keep everything in a neutral position. Okay. And then drop your shoulder back. Exhale, inhale. Hold this position for three seconds. To get the best results, you need to do six lunges on each side. When you are doing this solo ass stretch, as you when you bend your knees, making sure your knees does not pass the toes, okay. And also in the starting position, making sure your belly does not come forward. Keep it tight to your spine. When you raise your upper arm upward, making sure you push upward and maintaining that stress. When you bend to the side, you only slightly bend. You don't bend a lot, or you don't bend a lot and then losing the hip this you don't want that okay okay when you drop your shoulder back making sure you just drop it back you're not twisting your mid back as you feel the stretch exhale and inhale hold for three seconds and then you come forward and do the opposite arms Movement three, sit extension. This movement allows you to stretch your entire low back while sitting in this chair. So in this movement called sit extension, you're going to grab a chair, position yourself in the chair with heel flat. Slightly raise up your toes in the air and slightly arch your low back. Now this is the starting position. Next, you're going to interlock fingers Push your arm upward for 10 seconds. Inhale and exhale. As you exhale, I want you to push your heel into the floor. Add a little pressure. Okay. Then you're going to move your arm upward more and from the back. Now you can feel the stretch between the shoulder blades and your low back. Hold this position for 10 seconds. Making sure as you reach backward, it's in the range of your comfort level. Push your heel into the floor. Inhale and exhale. Okay. As you finish, you drop your arms. To get the best results, you need to do five reps. Let's do it one more time. Interlock fingers. Push your arm upward. Stay there for 10 seconds. You inhale and exhale. In this position, making sure you push your heel into the floor. And then slightly add the arch in your low back. And you can feel the stretching in the back side of your spine. Okay. After 10 seconds, try to reach your arm upward more and then push for the back. And then push your heel into the floor. You may feel sore in your legs, but it's fine. Okay. Hold this position for 10 seconds. After 10 seconds, you drop your arms. You should feel some soreness and stretching in the old So um, that is our presentation for today. Thank you for watching. So uh, if you can scan the QR code on the left, on the left, the bigger one, that's for the exercise movement on YouTube. You can um, keep playing back and uh, um, keep watching and practice at home. Okay, so the left one, the big one, is the, the YouTube link for the exercise video you just saw. And um, um, you're welcome to take the whole picture and uh, subscribe us and like us uh, for our cusb.edu website and the Facebook and the Instagram. We constantly update our uh, newest events and uh, um, informational health, uh, health information. And uh, um, you're welcome to follow us. Thank you.